Jeez, you suck, man. Well, <laughs> what a what a fast-paced and exciting intro. So for any of you that somehow don't know what this game is, this is Clock Tower on the Super Nintendo. Uh, it was only released in Japan, which you could probably... I don't know if you picked up on the subtle hint that I'm playing a translated ROM with all those spooky sprite artifacts in the text during the opening crawl. But anyway, we're Jennifer Simpson right here. Look at her dress so smart in her frock. Sounds she's so business casual. Uh, she and her four, well, three to make four of them total. I can do math. She and her three uh, girlfriends here were all orphans at the orphanage. And Mr. Barrows, who owns this big-ass house, just adopted them. As John Tron puts in his Clock Tower video, like a, adopted them like puppies from a kennel. So let's see what our good friends are up to now that Miss Mary went to go get Mr. Barrows. If this was a less, if this was a non tin face style let's play, I'd be reading these in silly voices, and y'all would be like mashing fast forward on your keyboard. Of course, you don't even have to stop and talk to your friends, even though whenever you're around your good friends, I always suggest you stop and chat it up, especially if you can share a bowl of good friends cereal. Let's see what Lot has to say. She's so rebellious, like Lot wears. A short sleeve shirt and blue jeans, son. If this was the 1950s, everyone would be giving her the the, the business, giving her the lot lot for. All right, we could keep talking to our friends, or we could advance the damn game. So I guess we'll go do that now. Go see what Miss Barrows is up to, because she seems to fucking pleasant. Can I leave? I can't. I have to chat it up some more. Jennifer, sweetheart, don't wear yourself out there walking across the room. My God, I know you're a 14 year old girl, but you can show some vigor. I wonder if any of these girls are going to survive this uh, horrific ordeal. Least of all us. So we've got Anne, who I like her earth tones. She got a green skirt and her tan shirt with a brown vest. It's very smart. Now Laura here, she's all frocked up in blue. And with her blonde hair tarted up, I, I don't know if I can improve. I'm just a simple, humble girl, Jennifer Simpson. And in a lot, we've already discussed. So uncouth. Short hair and long pants. What would baby Jesus say? Jennifer's like, no, y'all stay here. I'm going to go be the protagonist. <laughs> Laura's like, do you hear spooky music? 
And Anne's like, silence, silence, Laura, dear. We're sitting here around a very small table. Okay. Nothing bad has ever happened in a spooky mansion in the woods. Everybody knows this. Let's go beat the game. Jennifer, sweetheart, can you, would you move, please? There we go. Apparently there was a scream. And we became a fear. They disappeared very quickly. Like, unnecessarily quickly. Like, I feel that it, it shouldn't be. My, my immersion in the game is plummeting rapidly. First of all, let's turn the lights on. This is quite spooky in here. There we go. So did the, whoever abducted them or they ran off to, like, pull taffy or whatever it is girls do when they've been adopted from an orphanage? I don't know. All right, let's go beat the game. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. This is just a game where your, your girlfriend... Oh, spooky eyes in the window. Don't look, Jennifer. Man... I can't handle having open windows at night. Like, even as a grown-ass man, a big, a grown-ass 6'5", 350-pound man, I can't, my windows, I had to have the blinds closed at night. I've watched enough movies to know that if you have an open window at night, it's a serial killer who's going to watch you. All right. Uh, maybe it's by the door there, sweetheart. Jennifer, honey, I know you're an orphan, but I figured you'd interact with electricity. Look at this lovely fresca on the wall. Is that what that's called? Let's see what's on. First of all, the TV is tucked away in the corner because this is a proper parlor where nobody sits and watches the telly. <laughs> she does everything so slow. All right. I'm going to examine this box for no particular reason. It's not like I've played this game before or anything. Baka. Uh, full disclosure, I beat this game like years ago. Son, we found the key. You might think, oh, Tim Face pretended and he didn't know where a key was. But actually, that key can randomly appear in multiple spots. So the fact that we found it there means we don't have to wait for it later. All right, we're going to run across the room. Look at this slowdown on this genuine Super Famicom that I'm obviously playing this game on. I don't even know what an emulator is. Nintendo and Shigeru Miyamoto told me that emulators are bad. And they make baby Jesus cry even more than a lady with short hair and long pants. All right, this room's full of good times. A good time will be had by all. I like how they made up one bed, but not the other. All right, we're going to look at this picture. It's so detailed. What is this thing? Jennifer, once again, I know you grew up in an orphanage, but you have to know what pictures are. And if we examine this Chester's drawers here. Sorry, i got to take a sip, keep my, my vigor up. I'm turning my lamp on. It's getting spooky here. I'm actually recording this, like, on Halloween Eve. So if I manage to record this, edit it, and upload it before midnight, then I win. Should we look at this mirror? I bet y'all know what happens. Okay, we'll look at it. Oh, shit. So, yeah. There's, like... Wouldn't this be the first sign that things... I mean, everything up till now has been odd... But just the hand coming out the mirror and strangling you, maybe. Let's let this parrot out of a cage, because nothing bad can happen. First of all, let's run across the room. And then let's let the parrot out of the cage, because he'll be our good friend. Parrots possess the intelligence of a three-year-old toddler, I've been told. I think he's supposed to be saying, I kill you, but it sounds like I get you. Oh, God, Jennifer, she's <laughs> she's having a fucking episode, son. All right. I need you, Jennifer, sweetheart, honey, pull it together. You're a strong, independent, 14-year-old orphan girl. <laughs> Hollywood has taught me you're the most strongest and independent as possible. But we're going to throw this blanket on him. Don't tell John Tron. Okay. Now, you'll notice down in the top bottom left corner, uh, much similar to the Doom guy who Jennifer is clearly inspired by, we see Jennifer's portrait. That shows her current state and her health. So if it's blue, you're good. Green's bad. And then red is dead, baby. Red's dead. So the way you restore her health in this game is you just wait for time to pass when you're in a non-stressful situation and like a very long time. Jennifer will eventually settle down like this, like she's eating Japanese dinner. And her health will come back ever so slowly. So I'm going to 
press a magic button on this legit Super Famicom to make time pass quicker. Ah, oh, there we go. Ignore the yellow text that popped up. Okay, full health, son. We're full of piss and vinegar. I could take on a whole army of, uh, oh wait, spoilers. I mean, there's no killers in this house to use a particular type of weapon. I'm Ten Fate. I've never played Clock Tower. All right, let's keep on keeping on, son. We're just a bee bopping and scatting through this big ass mansion in the woods. Ain't going to be none of a thing. Jennifer fuck Simpson, baby. Son, I hear water dripping and what sounds like spooky music coming out of this bathroom. So maybe we'll take a, a gander. It's so steamy, you'll never be able to do your hair in the mirror after you get out of the shower with all that steam. I've read that you can like wipe uh, shaving cream on a mirror to make it not get steamy, but I don't believe it. Jennifer is so unassuming in her portrait. Oh gosh, she's discovered the true horror of the Barrows Mansion. They don't have a bidet. She's like, I have to wipe my ass with paper like a commoner. I don't have to go right now. Well, video's ruined. Sorry if y'all were tuning in for 16-bit, you know, water sport. <laughs> Why do tip videos always go to such a weird place? Let's look in the shower. Nothing bad's ever happened in a shower in a spooky mansion. Oh shit. Now, I'd like to talk about the logistics of the Scissor Man being hiding in that bathtub while he strung Laura up there, but we should probably leave this room. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't mean to be rude, but the boy has a giant pair of scissors. Luckily, serial killers chasing you never teleport ahead of you when you're running, so we'll just go running down the hall and nothing bad will happen. I hear scissors approaching from stage right. Well, maybe. Actually, that's stage left, but don't tell the Scissor Man. Maybe we'll hide in this room. Nothing bad, all right? All right, luckily we can hide under this bed. Because spoilers, if a certain asshole parrot was still in that cage, he might be, you know, him and Scissor Man, good friends. He might be willing to tell him, you face through that fucking door. Either you're a ghost or you're a crazy monster demon boy with scissors, but you're not both. He's so genuinely upset that we got away from him. All right, we did it. We could just live under that bed, you know, Jennifer. Lots of people live under beds. It's better than Anne Frank. She had to live in a secret closet. Okay, Scissor Man's gone. Time to, to beat the game. <laughs> One of our friends is dead, but there's still we still got two friends, son. We can't get the hat trick of friends to survive. Well, if we count Jennifer, that's three, right? And three's company, I've been told by a very catchy song. Okay, so we're just going to bebop and scat through here. So you can make Jennifer run with the shoulder buttons, but see, she's already going into green because she gets tuckered out from running. I can't say much because as a grown-ass six foot five, 350-pound man, I also can't run very far. But also, I'm not as likely to be menaced by a small boy with big old hedge clippers. Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, whatever, I'm fucking these nuts. But I feel like I could take him. Look, there's a shovel. The ultimate weapon shovel knight has taught me. All right. So we're going to, just for the fun, because y'all are watching at home, there's a car here. And if we look in this box, oh, there's a car key. So like most people would always say characters should do in movies, son, maybe we should just get the hell out of here. I mean, I'm just saying we got a car key and a car. So if you try to get in the car and leave, mm. Jennifer's like, but my good friends. We've already shared a bowl of good friend cereal. How could I possibly leave them? Who will I Snapchat? Who will I send vag pics to? I assume all teenage girls send each other vag pics. At least they do in my fan pictures. So you try to leave once. She's like, no, 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 no. And if you try to leave again, she's like, I don't know. Then again, if I was locked in a spooky murder house with three of my good friends, like Tommy, Levi, and Noah, and Garrett, that's four of my good friends, but I wouldn't leave them, son. I'd pick up that shovel and go skizzer man hunting. Now, before we do that a third time, I'm going to press magic buttons on this Super Famicom. That's totally legit. And then we're going to use the key the third time, and Jennifer's finally going to be like, you know, fuck this shit. Now, 14-year-old girl raised in an orphanage, where did she learn to drive a car? I think she learned it from movies and mu the MTV. It was a bad influence. All right, well, we beat the game. That's Clock Tower, etc. 
uh, to get the full inning, we got to wait for the credits to go by. So, oops, slipped on a banana peel. Accidentally hit the fast forward button on my Super Famicom there. Get her done. 420 YOLO Swaggins. And... Spoilers. The killer's always in the back seat. Well, we had some fun. Shared a few laughs. But, wait, what's this? I could bite Zadusto my way back. And boom! Oh, look, we had a change of heart. That was a premonition. We didn't get in a car and get murdered by Scissor Mans. Jennifer, here, sit down and get your health back. God bless. <laughs> Hashtag Jennifer Lives Matter. All right, now that we've nutted up and decided we're going to solve the mystery of the clock tower and save all of our friends, minus Laura, who, she was a harlot and deserved it anyway, I'm just saying. You know, I'm not trying to slut shame Laura, but a blue dress. You could probably see her ankles in that shit, son. All the fine gents on Main Street popping boners nonstop. All right, we're going to walk up the stairs, which is a very quick process. She just walks so fast. It's almost dangerous how fast she walks up these steps. Like, seriously, Jennifer, you're setting a bad influence. What if the other children at the orphanage saw just how you're shooting up that fucking set of stairs like grease lightning out of pig's asshole? Yep. <laughs> Good times. Why did I play this at, in a Halloween evening trying to do a video? You know, I could have played this all month, but I only got the fucking the urge to record a 10 video at the last second. All right, here's what we're going to do. All right, this is a regulation clock. All right. We need to go over here and then not grab the door. We need the screen to scroll. There's another door there, but literally we just need the screen to scroll. But I don't really want to go in that room. Okay, there we go. It's a weird interface. This is a point-and-click game. We need a mouse. Not a totally legit Super Famicom controller, which totally is an Xbox 360 controller. All right, let's go into this room. Ooh, ooh, spooky doorways. All right, we're going to push a box. This is exciting. Y'all are on the edge of your fucking seat. You're like, if Tenfei pushes that box, I'm going to lose my fucking... Oh, wait, first we have to go over here. Jennifer, my lord, sweetheart, honey, please. We need you to try to climb over this. She's like, I can't do it. Oh, no. All the estrogen in my bloodstream has made my arms powerful weak. So now we're allowed to push this box. Spoilers, if the scissor man chases you in this room, she'll climb up that fucking thing. Nambly pambly like a cat scrambling up a tree for saucer milk. All right, Jennifer. Enough of your orphan antics. I need you to, to climb. Wait, no, I don't. Do I need her to climb over here? Yeah, there's a, there's a set of robes in here, I believe. I've predicted the future, and there's a, a set of robes I might need. <gasps> She's like, are these Gucci? She's like, I can't wear a product because that's what the devil prefers. Okay, Jennifer. Don't uh, don't strain nothing climbing over there. Like I could climb over shit. Well, I could run my ass through it. All right, there should be pesticide in here. Which is a good thing to have in a spooky mansion. Hell yeah. Or insecticide. Excuse the shit out of me. Can you turn the light on in here? Like Motel 6? Can we leave the light on? Huh. <gasps> Nope. Look at this faulty OSHA. Have some fucking citations. As long as you're armed, they'd ride up this place. All right, now if we bebop and scat down the end of this hallway and push this here box. Oh, Lord. You've got to, like, convince Jennifer of things. Because if we go down here, there's a crow's nest or a bird, a nondescript bird. I'm not an aviologist. I feel like that's a job. Looks like a bird nest. Does it? Sweetheart, and you can't use the stick. No, don't use the stick. No, Jennifer, sweetheart, the stick doesn't work. <gasps> no, we made Crow angry. <laughs> Crow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought we could be good friends. Okay, Crow, listen here. This is a. She's supposed to. She's supposed to push that box over there. Now, maybe the item isn't up. Okay. Now that I think about it, I think, um, okay. 
The key we found in the box earlier, I think this is one of the spots it can spawn, which means we don't actually need it. So whatever, you baka crow. It's not like I want your delicious keys or anything. All right, we get the fuck out of here. I got a game to beat. It's hot. It's All Hallows Eve. It's Sam Gale or whatever the fuck call this shit. If you're vegan, that's a religion, right? It practically is. All right, Jennifer, you sit down, get your strength. There we go. Eat a big bowl of cream of wheat. All right, we have the key to go in here. The West Wing key. It takes you to Kevin Spacey's house. Is that timely? I feel like that's timely. All right, let's explore some rooms. We got to find two or three items. Maybe fight some demon babies. I'm not saying, you know, I know anything that's going to happen. I'm just saying I, this is the most likely course of action. As always, we're worried about this. If you hear the scissor man coming, then we know we're in some serious shit. Okay. Oh, what's in this room? I'll never know because I can't click on the door handle. Jennifer. I guess I'm not allowed to go in that room. It must be where they keep the liquor and coke. That's the coke hookers and blow room. Every, you know, honorable mansion has a hookers and blow room. This is not spooky at all. I love this room. Especially when it feels like someone's watching. I wonder if she means me. We found a key. Of ceremony. It's a good key. Oh, yeah. By the way, spooky dolls sometimes come to life and attack you. It's been known to happen. Have you or a loved one been attacked by a spooky possessed doll? Call now. And get the get the compensation you deserve. Alright, I got a match to don't get fucked up by a spooky doll button. Oh god, right in the mouth. I don't fucking care. Whatever, 1v1 me, asshole. I'm Jennifer fucking Simpson. Set down, sweetheart, get your strength up. Okay. Now that we fucked a doll to death, <laughs> as you do, we're loaded with keys. So it's going to be a good day. We just put these keys in our hand like the Wolverine and fight somebody. I don't remember what this room is. This room seems big and spooky. Perhaps a light switch could alleviate the spookiness of this room? Nope. Because uh, the, why have light switches at work? <laughs> One light switch and the whole fucking house works. I don't remember if there's anything in here. Let's take a look with our eyes. <gasps> a trash can. The container of all good things. Empty. There better not be any spooky serial killers behind behind them curtains. Tell you what, I'm not. Curtains are always bad, kids. If you're ever in a spooky mansion in the woods, just avoid curtains. It's been a PSA from your Uncle Tiffany. Curtains, not even once. Okay. I got a fucking game to beat. They won't know whether I'm coming or fucking going. I disappeared into the void. <gasps> Stairs. My one true weakness. Let's here put this here board across this here pit. Yes, it is, Jennifer. Perhaps I'm not, you know, I'm not a <laughs> nutritional anthropologist. Fine, I don't even want you to put stupid board across the thing. Even though you could easily step over that. Oops, somehow we're at the bottom of the stairs. We do King Crimson. <laughs> Carried us to the bottom of the stairs. Got to stop getting my fuck strength up. Okay. I'm not going to stop running, though. Whoop. All right, this seems like a kind of room that would have good things in it. Maybe just a big bag of Jolly Ranchers. And they're all cherry and sour apple. All right, we're going to read. Because the only scary thing is illiteracy, son. The author's name is faded, son. We'll never fucking our work site. It's going to be all wrong. All right, there should be, there's a chance there's a piece of paper. Son, an old magazine, Maternity. Son, has it got any big titty ladies in it? Old magazines were filled with big titty ladies, son. You couldn't stop that shit. Crevice. Shiny. Did I find a secret item? There's, am I not allowed to have the shiny item? Why are you going to fucking shiny tease me like that, Jennifer? Wait. The light switch, of course. They've been known to work all the time. Well, imagine my fucking surprise. All right, we didn't find this. <gasps> Is it the secret piece of paper that we need? Wait, she she was so... She, apparently, she's confused by technical information. Did your orphanage not have a fucking uh, <laughs> engineering department? Okay. 
We got more items to find. We got a fucking game to be. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this fucking game. Okay, what do you got to say there, door? Okay, spooky bathroom. Tell you what, you know, I don't really need... Plus, there's no toilet. You got the shit in that box. The true horror of this house is peeing in a sink, which is probably difficult for a teenage girl. So I'm going to check my male privilege. As a man, a white, cis-bodied uh, man, I can piss in all the sinks I want. But Jennifer's got to, like, climb on top of that shit, pull her drawers off. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm writing erotic fan fiction all of a sudden. Okay, this looks like a, a non-threatening, spooky uh, abyss hallway. That's not... This is not where you want to be. Tell you what, we're going to let Jennifer get her zeal up. you got to stay healthy, because if you get an altercation and your health's too low, then she won't have the strength to persevere. She won't have the strength or the independence needed to overcome... The obstacles that face a teenage girl in the 1990s. I assume that's when this game... Does this game play tennis in the 90s? <gasps> this is a good room. Light switches. <gasps> the light switch worked. Apparently there's critters in these cages. Let's examine a dead crow. All the kids are into that shit, son. Hashtag dead crows. Isn't that one of them bands y'all like so fucking much? Counting Crows? Or is that that movie where Jet Li's son got shot to death? Okay, we got Cage Key. So we are going to run over here. Whoop! Where's my Cage Key at? Get your Cage Key there and open up the cage. We're just in here killing Crows for no fucking reason. <gasps> Crow Friend! Crows are so cool. They like they'll hang out with you and like eyeball you and you'll be like that crow eyeballed me, son. She got so inspired by the crow flying through a vent. Not that it'll come back, you know. Just keep that crow out of your mind, son. He has no effect on the rest of the game. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You're like, oh, that Uncle Tim Fay in his misdirection. P.T. Barnum in his prime never misdirected. I'm like, did he? He was a ringmaster. I feel like they want to do the opposite of misdirection. They want you to literally look at something. Like, look, this asshole's going to put his head in the line. This room seems spooky. Look, there's a Skellington portrait and a Skellington wall scroll from the Barrow's favorite anime, Skellington Chan. Have you all been watching the anime where the skeleton guy works at the bookstore? It's a good anime. It ain't a bad anime. I mean, he's not killing goblins or anything, but I'm just saying. He wasn't reincarnated as a titty-grabbing slime, but I'm just saying, the man works in the bookstore. He's got a respectable job. All right, there's two... This room is full of deception. Also, apparently it's full of uh, some swag music. I want to look in that armoire, but there's curtains, and your old Uncle Tenfei taught you that curtains are bad in the spooky house. <gasps> oh! Somebody just looked in through the ceiling. That's a, that's a thing that can happen. Tell you what, we're going to leave this room. And just we're just going to pretend this didn't happen. Yes, sir. Nothing bad ever came out of a ceiling in a spooky woods mansion. In a spooky murder fuck mansion. All right. Infinite random hallways. My favorite. And Jennifer is in mustard green mode. Hello. Tell you what. Get you some Z. There we go. You can't play this game without a fucking speed up button. Take a month. Okay. Yep. Here we are. Born to be kings. Freddie Mercury himself. What's in this room? Ooh, good. I think these are just like the little... Oh, it can't be opened. The door seems to be stuck. Jennifer, sweetheart, put some fucking elbow grease in it. Get you a can of PB Blaster and some WD-40. And some elbow grease, son. You can get that shit open. All right, we've looped back around. To the left is the garage. I hear a telephone ringing, but we don't want to go. There's a room with a telephone in it, and also a crazy bitch by the name of Mary Barrows. You might not believe this, but that creepy lady from the beginning of the game that led us all out here, she's not really, you know, on the up and up. She might not be good people. I hate to be the one to tell you this. If you're part of the Mary Barrows fan club, if Mary Barrows fan 69 
is watching. I hate to tell you this, and you feel free to leave a hateful comment. Okay, we want to open this big. Look at this big fuck off, uh, unnecessarily sized sub zero fridge refrigerator freezer refrigerator. That must have been such a pain in the ass to get into. All right, we're gonna click on this. We're gonna get our insecticide. No, we're gonna get our insecticide. Jennifer, I need you to select the insecticide. Jennifer, no, don't do it. No, I tried. I knew it was full of bugs. It wouldn't let me use the insecticide. No, select Jennifer, sweetheart. The controls have lost their fucking mind. I'm not allowed to do anything. This is my life now. I'm going to die from bugs. Fine, run out of the room. My God, we'll go get a strong man to come in here and step on these bugs. You've set the course of feminism back 30 years, Jennifer Simpson. I'm sorry any ladies watching this. All right, you sat down in this spooky murder hallway for a few minutes. My controls... Okay, there we go. We're going to sit here until we overcome the fear of murder bugs. And we're going to ignore any yellow text you see on the screen. This is the propaganda. Ignore it. For anyone wondering what I'm drinking on this Hallow's Eve, it is Mike's Harder Blood Orange Lemonade mixed with Deer Park Sparkling Lemon Lime Water. I like to pretend it's healthy. Okay, look, Jennifer, you and I both know that we're supposed to take this insecticide and use it on the fucking Sub-Zero. You should just throw that shit like a grenade. She did it. All bugs are dead. I told them. That's what you get for being lower form of life, you non-vertebrae having motherfuckers. I'll take shit out of that key. Pocketed the gold key. Like, it's weird that she knew the West Wing key was the West Wing. It could have said West Wing on it, but the ceremony key, I think she was just on the clue. Uh, of course, we're going to check the regular ass refrigerator sign. What you got? A ham. Someone shot the ham. Never forget the ham, kids. Bad things will happen if you don't got the ham. The harbinger of gout. Okay, now that we're all hammed up. You notice we haven't encountered the Scissor Man technically a, another time yet. That's because we're too fucking good at the game. Technically, I think he was in the ceiling <laughs> at one point. All right. There is... There's really only one major item we still need. But it's going to be in one of these random rooms. Ooh, I hate random rooms. So many bad things can happen. Tell you what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Bites of dust, though, is going to get us through these trying times. Didn't know Jennifer was a stand user, son. Okay, we're going to, you know, once again, nothing. I, I, what? Save clock tower dot zero zero zero. It doesn't mean nothing. I can't remember if this is the room we don't want to go in. Oh, that door's locked. Okay, so it doesn't fucking matter. Um, whoop. I know where one room is. We need to... Um, what we need is to put that plank down in that hallway. But Jennifer is such a fucking stickler for the rules. She's like, that plank is not OSHA approved across any gaps in the floor. You're going to get a citation as long as your arm, mister. I'm Jennifer Simpson. I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she's running for political office. Okay, Jennifer, sweetheart, honey. We need to solve the perplexing mystery of the clock tower. With spoilers, we haven't even seen the clock tower yet. I guess when we were walking up the house in the intro, you may have noticed the clock tower. The titular clock tower. All right, so that took us to here. Okay, there's a couple of rooms over here we can look at with our eyes. This is a spooky room full of animal heads. Is that a cheetah? He's got the little black things under his eyes, maybe. Cheetahs are so cute. Did you know they purr and meow? And they're also good for... I, I like how you could stop and rest in this room, of all rooms, and get your fucking zeal back. It's full of bubbly jars and taxidermy. That's like an antelope. If you could kill an antelope, you'd probably kill a cheetah. And if you kill a cheetah, you're an asshole. Son. Dick's out for cheetahs. Whoop. Let's look in this unassuming cabinet. So is this is that noise implying that the, the, the heads are yelling at me? Did you see anything, Jennifer? I guess no, nothing. 
Okay, there might have been something in that spooky piano room, and there might have been something in that murder office. So I guess we got to go back. Like I said, this game, some items are randomly placed, unfortunately. Or actually, fortunately, if you were playing this game back when it came out and you wanted more entertainment value. But if, let's say, you were trying to record a video on Halloween and get it up so your, your viewers can watch it, so you don't feel guilty. <laughs> so you don't disappoint their ex constant expectations of your 30 followers. Just saying. Not that I know any. I'm, I'm talking for a friend. I still want to know why this room is so mysterious and not allowed to be walked into. All right, I believe that was the spooky doll bedroom. So this is Murder Office. Murder Office would be a good name for a Netflix series. Netflix original series, Murder Office. Narrated by James Earl Jones. Okay, we know that light switch doesn't work. Can we look at the... Un it's a picture of a woman. This person looks familiar. Why would you know that? You don't know. You know nothing. Jon Snow in his prime knew more than you. Who lit this? Maybe the crazy bitch running around the house trying to kill you. Maybe they like the fires. All right, kids. We're going to examine the curtain. Can we? You old Uncle Tin. Well, I guess we could look out the window. Don't collapse. Jeffrey, you're at blue health. There's a pool in the court. Okay, we're going to look at these spooky books. Some books. There's probably a copy of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, the spookiest of all books. The desk is Dutch. All she cares about is the fucking cleanliness and keeping things. Jennifer, you need to become a career woman. Don't worry about how dirty the house is. She's like, I gotta make the kids lunches. I'm like, no, you gotta get a 401k. You need to, you need to be a high-powered lawyer, heart surgeon, mathematician. Okay, we're gonna search. Maybe Jennifer has decided that boards are our friend and we're allowed to place them across gaps. Somehow I doubt it. Maybe she... Does she only do that if the scissor man's chasing her? That seems like the worst time to place a board across the thing. My God, get down the stairs. Okay, here we are. All right, where's the spooky fucking music room? So I can go in there and bend over, fucking spread my cheeks for the scissors. Okay, we came in here. We weren't allowed to have anything. There was something shiny in the wall. No, we know the light switch doesn't work. Jennifer, I'm trying to make you leave the room. We know that there was something in that crevice we weren't allowed to have. This game is so fucking easy, even the kids can beat it. I don't know why we're having such a damn difficult time. Stop. There we go. A little piss and vinegar. Ah, such a refresh. Ah. I don't believe anything can be important can be in here, but I guess if it's a chance to get spooky jump scared, we, we owe it to ourselves, don't we? What do we got? Cost can't possibly be two murdered ladies in the showers. It'd be such faux pas. It's like two ladies wearing the same dress to a, an event. There's a, a full fucking mirror in the shower. I don't want a mirror in a shower. I want to look at myself and my sin. <gasps> Nothing pad's ever been in a shaking box. <gasps> Look at that, it's a chunky black cat. <gasps> he's our good friend. Can we hang out? Look at him, he's adorable with his red glowing eyes. I love this cat. <gasps> he's licking his paw and rubbing his head. Hashtag blessed. You know, if you told me there was a chunky black cat I could hang out with, I'd probably agree to go to your murder mansion in the woods. Son, anything's worth it you get to hang out with a chunky black cat. God bless his heart. The whole game was worth it. <laughs> we beat the game. We found the chunky black cat. Okay, where is the music room? I hope there's 15 scissor men in that fucking music room. If it gets me the goddamn key item I need. Uh, we might need to explore the ceremony room. Spoilers. There's two potential items we need to open a secret door in the ceremony room. A scepter or a demon statue. And it's like random which one you get. But we ain't found shit. We're like the stormtroopers from Spaceballs coming in the desert, son. We ain't found shit. I thought we'd had this game beat by now. The, the speedrun record of this game is like 20 minutes long. All right, this was where we freed Crow Friend. Jennifer, I need you to collapse on the ground. She won't collapse on the ground unless you've like taken a step. All right. Crow Friend room is taken care of. I believe music room is down here. Yeah.
Okay, let's look at this vase of obviously artificial flowers. A celadon vase. Well, look at you. Somebody watched fucking Jeopardy last night and was like, I can't wait to use this in a sentence. <laughs> oh, boy. Pentagrams, always good. Name five bad things have ever happened in a pentagram. You can't do it. All right, let's read uh, this here pamphlet. Time will cause adherence. <laughs> I don't know, Jennifer. You tell me. You're the one that fucking ate at the store. Oh, that's she's reading the thing. All right, what's a crow corpse? They love killing crows in this place, son. It's also their favorite band. She has nothing to say about the spooky skeleton up there. She wants to get off Miss Bones' wild ride. Okay. We'll be back later to solve your perplexing mystery. Okay. Where is the music room? There you are. Hey, music room, how you doing? Oh, boy, the music room. We're going to look in here. Oh, is, is there all kinds of music in there? How about it's a record player? It's unplugged, son. Their light bill will be sky high. All right, we're going to check the piano. I noticed the tile that fell off the ceiling is still on the floor. <gasps> she genuinely played the piano. No, the scissor man hates the piano, especially when it's poorly played. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Maybe now that he's chasing us and we got some adrenaline going through our system, we can put that damn board across that gap. We're going to run to the right and hope he's not there. I don't hear scissors. Or a man. Okay, good. Oh no! She's become such a horror movie cliche. Tripping when she's being chased. I do like that the scissor man's come to kill you music. Let's see if she quickly walks up the stairs when murder's afoot. Yep. There she goes. That's the panic-stricken teenage girl if I've ever seen one. So carefully and methodically walking up the step. All right, Jennifer, murder man's coming. Let's uh, put a board across the gap. Wouldn't that be fun? You know what all the cool orphans are doing? Put a board across the gap. No, it's Jennifer. It won't even let me click on it. It's the last thing on her fucking mind. Fine. I hope the scissor man kills you. Hashtag, I secretly don't. I don't know why that's a hashtag. I just assumed you kids like hashtag. All right, that's rubble of the Barney variety. All right, I'm at a fucking loss of where else to go. I guess we could go to the telephone room, but I already know that it's a bad place we don't want to be in. All right, we've been in all these. We're going to run till we're in red, and then the scissor man's going to fucking bust out from under a carpet. No, we're in orange hell, or off brown. Okay. We do need to hide, though. Scissor Man won't leave you alone and his cool theme won't stop playing until you've officially hid. Which, uh, we can hide in the, uh, the clothes room. This is not the clothes room. This is full of spooky dead animals. And the Scissor Man is notoriously unaffected by spooky dead animals, son. He loves that shit. Okay. This should take us back across, right? The layout of this place is fucking confusing because we only see everything from the side. Alright, there we go. Oh god. Her, her health temporarily became blue when she tripped. I'm not even being actively chased, Jennifer. You need to calm fuck down. Oh god, we're in red health. Don't tell nobody. No, I don't want you to answer. <laughs> Fine, let's just go in that room. Hold on. There's a reason we don't want to go in here, but let's just go in here because this is what the game wants. Oh, okay, Miss Mary's not in here. Well, never mind. I thought, um... Okay, we're not allowed to interact with objects. I thought this was a room. There's a room you can walk in where Miss Mary is there and she just, like, chokes the shit out of you. Spoilers. That's what I was trying to avoid. Let's calmly walk into here and, uh, we should be able to hide on the other side of this, uh where we found the robe earlier. Get the scissor man off our dick. Oh, look at him, he came in here, he's so legitimately angry. 
<laughs> He's so fucking pissed. Look at his shadow not properly rendering on the background. He even stops for a second. He's like, he. I think he knows Jennifer's there, and he's just, he's not allowed to climb over that. So he'll get a spanking. Miss Barrows will fucking tan that high. All right, now that the Scissor Man's been appeased, let's sit down for a minute. Since we've been overcome with the vapors. There we go. Son, once again, our strength and our independence fully restored. All right, we're going to go in the telephone room. Hope Mrs. Barrow's in there, and there, fucking, she's got one of them things you squeeze your hands with, son. Getting her choking hands. She's in there praying for the Lord to make her choking hands strong. It might be downstairs where she's at. No, Miss Barrows, why? My neck is so unchokable. You don't understand. My neck's all sinewy. Don't do it, Miss Barrows. You're no, don't run towards her. Oh, Jennifer, why, sweetheart, honey? Oh God, no, no, not the chair, the armoire. Oh no, she's pouring me uh, underage beverage. Miss Barrows, you're going to get a citation. Oh, I know what this leads to. Well, maybe this will work. We could probably still beat the game. She doesn't choke the shit out of you right here. She just gives you a drink. You always take a drink from Miss Barrows. Spoil that knocked her out fucking quick. It's fucking Novocaine, laced with chloroform. Mixed with trip to fan. Son, the, it's a combination. Okay. We got a lot in the cell here. Ugh. Oh, God. I'm burping for ambience. So we are in a cell here with this uh, handsome gentleman. Hello, handsome gentleman. How you doing? He's uh yeah. He's a real looker. So, uh, spoilers uh, for the plot of the game. This is uh, Mr. Barrows. He's been locked in here for quite a while. He wants food. Um, I didn't give him food quick enough. Spoilers, we had a ham in there. Why didn't you eat me when I was unconscious? Asshole. Dead end, how about bites of dust, though? Fuck you. Do we... I don't want to get choked out by Miss Mary. I don't think we have to get choked out by... Or, excuse me, roofied. There's some rooms downstairs we probably haven't been in. So feel free to yell at your, your, your monitors while you're watching this. All right, zoop. Here we are downstairs. Born to be king. We need that scepter or that statue. God damn it. And we need to put that plank across that fucking thing. Okay, that's the bathroom where we first saw the schizer man. There's parrot room. Occupation? One parrot. He's still wrapping that blanket. He's probably so pissed. And that was the skeleton picture room. All right. This is another rubbly dead end. Here's the room where we start the game. Oh, there's a door. Is there a door at the other end of this room? I think there is. So we got this shit on lockdown. You tell me I can't beat Clock Tower. So I'm going to beat this game, upload this video, and y'all going to watch it at 11.59. <gasps> no, it's so locked. Jennifer, you've got so many keys. All right. Whoop! <laughs> That's the funnest part of this playthrough is be bobbing this cat up those stairs, son. Okay. Oh, I thought we had this shit on lockdown. She won't stop saying locked because she also thought we had this shit on lockdown. Okay, downstairs. Hoo We're going to beat this game like Peggy Hill. Imagine Clock Tower starring Peggy Hill. I guess the Scissor Man does look kind of like Bobby Hill. So it works, I think. Has somebody done that artwork yet? All right, I already know this is a collapsed rubble hallway, but we'll look at it just so you all have something to fucking do. And if you go look at this hole, I don't believe anything comes of it. Yep. That's crack, all right. She's like, here's your problem right here. You got a big-ass hole in you all. Now, I'm going to have to order some special parts, some spackle, and a stud, zinc preferably. We'll get you all patched up. It's going to take us about eight months. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't make her take one step. There we go. It is weird that she won't collapse into healing mode <laughs> unless you've taken at least one step. Ah, I think I might be getting frustrated at a video game. It's so rare on the Tenfei channel. It's been known to happen. Okay. And the room down here, we are... Uh, 
we don't have a key to open this one right here i believe unless we found it at some point while we're paying attention nope lock this shit locked up tighter and made marion's pussy okay let's keep going a new robin hood came out this week but i have nothing to do with it i have two requirements one of each has to be met for me to watch a robin hood movie the first is robin hood has to be either an anthropomorphic fox or wesley from the princess bride otherwise good day sir all right that's the outside courtyard area i believe we get out there if we had escaped that cage earlier because i wasn't too busy trying to teach you all lore about the game and had given that man the fucking food okay if we look outside we can't because bad things will happen spoilers <laughs> we can't get the good ending if i'd have just given him the ham i could have had a chance to escape i still don't know why he waited till he woke up to eat us if he was going to eat us some cannibals just have no fucking decency these days all right it's this is this is probably music well then again we haven't checked all of the music room because goddamn scissor man yeah all right bobby barrows you motherfucker or dan barrows i can't remember which one you are now the scepter could be behind this curtain all right we're gonna do it kids we're going full-blown curtains come on baby be good to me <gasps> hell yeah a staff excuse the fuck out of me what's the difference name five differences between a scepter and a staff marvin webster in his prime would have fucking give me that one all right power up <laughs> jennifer's got to charge her all her energy for the ginky dumb okay the the jam started playing again but we're just gonna get the fuck out of here all right now that we have the scepter i don't know if the game actually lets us just use it in the ceremony room or if jennifer has to like know why it's one of those things where if the character doesn't understand it then we're not allowed to understand it either because i think you're supposed to put it in this yes Jennifer, we're all impressed that you know a vase named after a city from Pokemon. But, oh, Christ almighty. All right, we have to... There's like a mural or something we have to look at that will uh, let Jennifer know that if you put staves in vases, then uh, assholes playing a video game for the internet or can actually advance. All right, this is the other bathroom. I've built the, uh, such a mental map. Oh, no, no, excuse me. Crow room. Big part. I'm so terribly embarrassed. Um, the secret, I believe, lies on the other side of the plank hallway. But Jennifer is so opposed. That's another crumbly passage. Yeah. Or it's the other side of the crumbly passage, I guess, technically, because... Like I said, it's the layout of this place is confusing because you see everything from this side view. Okay. We got a staff. Can examine that. This, is this the other bathroom? God, I'm so fucking lost. All right, this is this room where you can find a piece of paper that tells you one of the statues one of these statues in the hallway is holding the demon idol or whatever that we need but since we have the scepter that's not really a thing so what the hell is this room again this is the most confusing fucking video game ever made yes it's the pointless <gasps> no our, our friend the fat cat he must be back in that box god bless his heart cats love to get inside of boxes if i was a cat i'd get inside of boxes all the time and if Disney's Aristocats has taught me anything, everybody wants to be a cat. Even people who claim to don't like cats. Or as we call them, assholes. <laughs> okay. Jennifer, come on. Okay. The first floor can be seen. Is that all I had to do was look at that? God damn you, Jennifer Simpson. You've made me look quite the fool. We're going to stop right here and power you up. All right. Once again, yellow text. There's no such thing. Yellow text is myth. Perpetrated by the Illuminati. That has been painted over. Okay. 
I know what's in that room. Is that the only... Okay, that's the end of the... Okay, here's where we can advance the plot of the game. I don't know if it'll get us knowing how to scepter. But if we need to move this... Someday. <laughs> Once again, I should have ran across the room before I clicked on it. Jennifer's just swaying her way up there. Shashay? I don't know if that's a verb. Shashay's a verb, right? Maybe I should ask Jennifer Simpson here. Miss Thesaurus. All right. There's a crumbly spot on the wall. Jennifer's going to very slowly walk over here. I'm going to pick up this here board. She automatically knows that I want her to go over there and knock shit out of the wall with it. <laughs> I like that she knocks the thing down and then she has to walk all the way back down here and be like, I do so. Is there, Jennifer? Well, try not to get too fucking excited. Try not to wait your drawers just a second. We're going to go in this room and get the most convoluted lore. Okay, there's a skeleton in the corner. One of my favorite country western songs. Apparently this room was sealed and airtight because this person was locked in here and suffocated. Let's read some of these here papers. All right, we're getting such a lure. Come on, Jennifer. We gotta get through this lure dump, sweetheart, honey. Spoilers, we're on the other side. This door is that painted wall on the other side. So somebody came out here and delivered two babies. We're gonna look at this bag. The name Walter Simpson's on there. Spoilers, if your neurons in your head aren't firing, Jennifer's last name is Simpson. This guy's last name was Simpson. So let's go examine his corpse. It's the most, I don't, like, it's such a, the only thing, so, spoiler, during this text dump here, I'm going to throw some fucking lore at y'all. So Jennifer, as we know, is an orphan. Uh, growing up in an orphanage, as orphans sometimes tend to do when they're not little street urchins. So this skeleton that she's lovingly embracing, her father, Walter Simpson, was a doctor. And in 1986, he came out here to deliver uh, the, the children of Miss Barrows. And spoilers, they were two demon boys. One of them is the little rapscallion chasing us with scissors. The other one we're going to meet here in a little bit. And the I guess to cover up having evil demon babies, they locked them in this room and sealed it until he either suffocated or starved. But what are the odds that the doctor randomly that came out here and did this shit was Jennifer's dad? The only thing I could think of is if the Miss Barrows specifically went out to find Jennifer and adopt her because she knew she was the daughter of the doctor and it. it she wanted, it was relevant like I don't understand this seems very convoluted and I look for the utmost realism in my Super Famicom survival horror games <laughs> she's like don't worry daddy I'll hug the flesh back on your bones so how old I don't know when this game takes place because if it was 1986, Jennifer's 14. Obviously, she was already born because he knows her name. It isn't like he banged Jennifer's mom and then went and fucking teleported Cell to King Kai's planet and blew up. Like, okay, we got all the lore. We still can't convince Jennifer that that staff needs to be put in that Celadon vase as she so proudly is click slain is the, the, the color and construct. So... I don't know. There's a thing you can read somewhere that tells you to... Uh, I'm watching that box in the corner. I expected something spooky to happen, but nothing did. Um, I mean, there's. we can go back to the library. Maybe now that we have... Oh, yeah, I guess we could examine this. She's like, my daddy died in there. I'm like, why don't you fucking brag about it? Uh, what is this? Uh, what is? Maybe we can examine all these. 
Because one of these is the one that's holding the uh, demon statue if you get the demon statue RNG. We've got ham. we got a whole fucking country ham. If we'd have given that to Mr. Barris, he'd have had a stroke. Okay, we can't examine any of these. Process of elimination. Jennifer, honey, you just started running. You're already mustard yellow. All right, let's go down and look at the library. Whoop. <laughs> no, where are you going? I held the button till I go too greedy with my fast forward capability. I believe the library was over here. It's where Colonel Mustard tends to kill people with the candlestick. Okay. Whoop. Here we go. All right, Jennifer, we're going to look at all these technical books. She don't know nothing about that. She didn't take a fucking STEM course. She's got a liberal arts degree. So this one, the author's name, so we can't work cited. Bibliography, very funny joke I made half hour ago. <laughs> More technical books. This one's just very old. Maternity, that's right. It's uh, Pregnant Jugs Monthly. And then this fucking thing. Where she sees something shiny. And she's not allowed to interact with it for God knows what reason. Stop and get the vigors. Alright, back to the ceremony room. I'm getting so legitimately frustrated. This game's making me look bad on the internet. How embarrassing. Everybody comes to Tenfei for such high-level, professional gameplay. I haven't done any funny voices while reading dialogue or made any fart jokes or nothing. The kids are going to hate this shit. All right. Was this the ceremony room? This was the bathroom or the... There's so many goddamn rooms. The music room. I always forget about crow room. Okay. This whole playthrough is just me checking the same rooms over, which I guess is how you were meant to play this game. Like, it's a point-and-click adventure game, so you're meant to walk around and just rub shit on shit. Okay. Nothing in here. Time will cause cohesion or whatever. What do you say when we look at the pentagram? Oh. The crate... Am I supposed... Do I just put the scepter straight here? Square hole is visible. I don't... Jennifer, we need the scepter. It would solve... I mean, it's, I know it's a, a, sep, a staff and not a scepter, but my lord. Time will cause adhesion. Or adherence. You big fucking words. Crow Corp. <sighs> it's so frustrating knowing what you're supposed to do, <laughs> but not being able to convince the character. Hold on. It's time for 10 phase old fashioned. Let's Google this shit on your phone. Come on in and lose your mind. Okay. We're going to go Clock Tower. Staff. The Scepter on the Clock Tower Wiki. In-game purpose. Open a secret patch to underground caves. Scepter, also known as a staff, thank you. <laughs> Depending on translation, is I am a clock tower. It can be found in the music room behind the curtain, but only if the ceiling panel does not fall. It is then placed in the... Yes, I know where it's placed, but you won't... Why is this... It's so unhelpful. Why is the internet so awful? The kids on here fucking doing their Fortnite dances and sending dick pics. Good lord, help me. Is there a walkthrough? Plot. No. Trivia. Why do I want trivia? Yeah, did you know trivia? The guy who made this game is an asshole. Oh my god, we've been reduced to going to game facts. Oh, God, I can't read this text. It's so tiny. Why aren't you describing the characters to me? Okay. Let's see. 
Da, da, da. How did it get the different endings? Good for you. Eat a dick. Dot com. Uh, kitchen, crow room, library, trophy room, mannequin room. Mannequin room, trophy room. Okay. I'm not cutting this out of the video, by the way, so I hope you all are enjoying it. Chapel. This is the link between the mansion and the caves. It's pretty easy. <sighs> you use the scepter or the devil idol here. Thanks, uh, Game Facts. You've been super fucking helpful. Okay. I can't find a scepter. What is it? Scepter, Miss Barrows, blah, blah, blah. How is this connected to Toxic? Why do I give a shit how it's connected to the rest of the games of the series? This is the worst. Okay, here we go. Here's a description of the items. Found in the music room behind the curtains, so sometimes the scepter becomes a bobby. That's very funny. Run away. You... <sighs> Has anyone ever written a good fact on Game Facts? Could you name one? I hope y'all are enjoying this spooky music. This is the worst. This might be the worst Tenfei video. It's hard to believe that such a thing could ever occur. Alright, this one was updated in 2008 and it's got 68 kilobytes dedicated to it. So it better be fucking good. Introduction. I walk through the story. Who gives shit? Characters. I don't fucking care. Playing the game. I believe I figured that out. Map of the Burroughs Mansion. That's useful. It's made out of fucking ASCII characters. Walk through. Let's see. Once in the crow hall, click on the dog. Once you're in the kitchen, you should sack four. Your thing. Click on the toy chest. Go door all the way right. Uh, cross the plank. Now examine the corner. Cage room. We did that. Let's see. Go to the music room. You'll find the scepter. However, if you find the scepter, leave the room. The religious study. There are two bookshelves here, which you should examine first. Now examine the demonic looking painting. There's a room with a painting? That's demonic? Wait, the religious study? Hold on, where is this ASCII fucking map made out of fucking goddamn shrugging fucking cat? So did we miss a room? Religious study. Is it me? Am I the true bad at video games? No. <laughs> That's the true horror of Halloween. This is where a ghost appears and is like, you're bad at video games. Oh, blue. So what? Fuck it. I feel like I opened every door. This is the trophy room, correct? Here, we're just... Okay, this is the music room. We got the thing. We're just fucking flying through time now. Here, we'll make her walk. Do, 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 stop. <laughs> Collaborate and listen. All right, the trophy room's down there at the end. We go through here. This leads back over here. Whoop. Uh, we couldn't go outside. We can't go in that door over there on the left because we don't have a key. Uh, the room upstairs, Miss Barrows drugs the shit out of us. I don't believe that's the room the guy's talking about. Let's go look at it just in case. We can bite the dust our way back. Zibba-dabba-doo-dabba-doo. -dabba okay, run our ass over here. Whoop. Keep running, Jennifer. Sweet cheeks, honey. Okay. Stop right here. Oh, wrong buttons. There we go. All right, pop in here. Miss Mary. Oh, hey, Jennifer, sweetheart. Oh, she just choked the shit on me. <laughs> See, she didn't do that the other time. I feel so cheated. All right, we're going to go in here again. And Miss Barrows, you got some explaining to do. She knew I was cheating. That's the problem. All right. Oh, she's just not in here this time. I guess it's completely random. All right, let's turn the light on. This room can't be relevant to anything. We can't examine that. Recently used. Well, she just drugged somebody else. Okay. A silver key. Ooh. The telephone's ringing. This looks like a job for cheating. Let's go look at it. The scissor man will stab us through the fucking receiver. The phone line's been cut. Well, then how was it ringing? It's still ringing. These fucking listen are lying to me every fucking breath. All right. We're going to assume that silver key opens that other door downstairs. And if God willing, it'll be the room that says, hey, did you know the scepters can be put in the vases? And Jennifer's like, any particular type of vase? And it's like celadon vases. And she's like, oh, boy. <laughs> I've got just the thing. Hoo-hoo. I'm Jennifer Simpson, girl of action. I like how her voice completely changed all of a sudden. Probably because I'm fucking pissed off. All right, Jennifer, that key doesn't open that fucking door. Be so goddamn angry. 
Hell yeah. Oh, look. A religious study. So, I guess we should have... If I hadn't have died... If I hadn't gotten my asshole eaten out by Mr. Barrows by giving him a ham first, then we could have escaped. And then we could have gone back to that room because Miss Barrows wouldn't have been in there. And then we could have gotten in here because the silver key was... God. Part of hidden behind the shelf. I guess we've got to move the shelf then. My gosh, she just shoved the shit out of it. <gasps> Look, Jennifer, a Celadon vase with some sort of scepter-like item coming out of it. Can you imagine, Jennifer? Is it? All right, we are going to create a save point here. I mean, we're going to bite the dust here. <laughs> I got to keep kayfabe up. Do any? How many of y'all get the joke when I say we're bites of dust doing? Probably, hopefully, at least like four of y'all could appreciate a good goddamn JoJo joke. Okay, we're running down the hall. Do dop do dop do. Oh, is this the room? Nope. Always a cage room. Never a cage bride. Okay, that means we're one room over. We're going to beat shit out of this game. No, seriously, we've basically beat the game because the whole game is finding these items to get to the, the caves. And then you just go in there and take care of some business. You do what Jennifer Simpson does every day. TCB, taking care of business. She's going to roll up her sleeve, dip some skull. She's like, I saw this on a fresco. Why do I have to teach you how Celadon vases work, Jennifer? You're the one that knew what fucking color it was. We're going to shove this hard, thick, throbbing staff into the waiting folds of the Celadon vase. Look at that. We get to beat the game now. Oh, boy. Let's climb down the murder pit. If you found the demon statue, you don't have to do any of this because Jennifer will just run in here and slam dunk that shit like Kobe and the fucking door will explode off the bottom. All right. The Caves of Madness. The only madness is that I'm angry that it's taking this long to beat the video game. What time is it? It is 5.56. What if trick-or-treaters show up? I've got to run outside and throw a bowl of candy at them and scream and get off my property. Ah. <laughs> uh. <gasps> Look at that German Shepherd. What a good boy. He's no fat, chunky black cat. All right. The dog will be mad at us unless we put black robes on. Oh, we're not allowed to put black robes on until the dog is preemptively mad at us, I guess. Hold on. First of all, goddamn killer queen needs to be made aware of what's going on. And then we're going to walk forward. <gasps> Jennifer just now notices that there's a dog. And he's ornery. Hey, buddy. Let's be good friends, huh? Sounds like a dog. You think, Jennifer? Sweetheart. Can we put this on yet? No? We have to make the dog angry first. Hey, I'm just going to walk past you. Oh, no. He's he's so angry. And then, because he's like, hey, you ain't the Miss Barrows. We're going to fucking cut ourselves in some perfume. There we go. Now the dog loves us. He's a good boy. He's like, wait a minute, you're not a crazy murdering bitch like Miss Barrett. I'm like, you don't fucking know me. I'm Jennifer fucking Simpson. I kill for fun. All right, Jennifer, we we solved the mystery. No, wait, we have to go see who's down here at the end of the hall being sacrificed. Spoilers. I'll give you a hint. They wear blue jeans and don't care about femininity. Oh, Lot, you have such an unconventional first name. So that's Laura and Lot. It's a bad day to have your name start with an L. So this means Lot was like running around and having adventures too. I assume before Miss Mary got a hold of her. She did tell us about the switches in the clock tower. Spoilers. She said the name. <laughs> she said the name of the game. Someone update TV tropes. Okay. We got this shit, baby. By the ass. Do you hear spooky noises in the background? Because I sure do. Oh, all right. There's some sort of rock with lights on it. You don't really interact with it. These things, I believe, are full of uh, either kerosene or gasoline. Something that ends in Olane. Charlene? 
that bitch. Charlene, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I'm just saying. You didn't have to take all my Dale Earnhardt commemorative plates and the fucking divorce, you whore. All right. Okay, let's go investigate what's behind the secret red curtain. Nothing horrifying, I guarantee. Make sure to take a big sip of your spiced holiday cider while you're watching this part, because nothing spooky will happen, I guarantee it. <laughs> like how Jennifer's like, oh, okay, a giant baby. Spoilers, this is the Scissor Man's brother. So one demon baby became a little uh, Bobby Hill looking motherfucker who's all about walking around with them scissors. Oh, I gotta mash the go button, son. When her portrait flashes, you've got to mash the don't die button. So I just gotta keep mashing it. So nothing bad happens. Oh no, Jennifer, your your loafers. Your pumps. I don't know what ladies typically wear with long dresses. Okay, climb. All right, we're mashing. Let's see if we mashed hard enough and we believed in the heart of the cards. No, Jennifer, please. You need friction and grip. We're still mashing. You can do it, Jennifer. No! Big babies! Oh, Bicidusto! Okay, I thought I mashed, but I guess I didn't mash like the game wanted me to mash, so we're going to try mashing again. All right, we're going to click on this. Do -do -do -do. Oh, no, spooky baby! Okay. You can hear it. I'm holding the controller up to the mic. You can hear me mash that button. It's hurting my hand so bad, y'all. Oh, God. Jennifer. I wonder if it's like a certain number of presses you've got to do to not fuck up your... Alright, I think we got it. There we go. And then... Spoilers. Immediately. <laughs> it's like Dalsim came in here and used his alt. Because he's all light fucking blaze. All right. There's one demon baby dead. One demon baby deserves another. All right, let's escape. Apparently the the place was connected to demon babies because now the whole fucking building is collapsing. Elevators. Nothing bad's ever happened in an elevator in a horror setting. Everybody knows it. But just in case, you know. <laughs> God, it's like playing Devil May Cry. I pulled a damn hamstring in my arm, mashing that go button. All right. Well, it's very ambient. All right, we're going to go to the third floor. I know there's a vent opening in the top of the elevator, scissor man sized, but I don't think anything bad will happen. Why would a scissor man fall into the elevator? The game just trolled us. It made spooky laugh happen and the thing opened. <gasps> All right. Here we go. Go climb up a long ass ladder. Look at him, son. He's just a... <laughs> he was a dashing through there. No one ever told him not to run with scissors. All right. Scissor man hot on her ass. Luckily, our good friend, our good gender, gender fluid friend, Lot, has told us to pull these here two levers. Which apparently activate the clock tower and that kills Bobby here. Like just the noise of it, he can't take it. He's like, dub bells, dub bells, hot damn. And he's dead. We did it. And nothing bad happened. All right. So that's clock tower. Feel free to let your guard down because nothing else bad will ever happen. We're just going to walk to the end of the game, son. Ain't going to be nothing but a thing. <gasps> Oh, God. No, Miss Mary. You crazy bitch. And electrocute it. Like you read about an electrocuted bitch month. Well, that was easy. Um, so we didn't get the best ending. Uh, I'm not sure what I did wrong other than fucking around the house too long. It may have been when I tried to poke the crow's nest with that stick earlier. Because spoilers in the best ending, she, you're one of your, you, whichever girl didn't die is laying there. So in this case, it would have been Laura. And Miss Barrows runs out to choke you, and then the crows fly down and like peck her until she falls over the ledge. So enjoy this somewhat close to the best ending. Because <laughs> I'll be goddamn if I'm going to play this again. <laughs>
<laughs> y'all, y'all have a happy Halloween.